Surugi has a lot of use cases. One of them being for, you know, players that like to make decisions and then stand up to make another decision or to move, right? As a way to keep people in check. It's also another way to hit the opponent as they're airborne. Medium kick Surugi will allow for a follow-up combo, usually Hayate Hayate, and then Roundhouse will knock down. This is important because when it's done at these timings to hit an airborne opponent, you will be able to crouch it in most cases unless you're a character like Hugo, right? It's the same thing for uh, delayed roundhouse surugi. You can crouch this because if you were to stand up, the hurt box will intersect. But if you don't, then for some characters, you will not be able to be hit because of their stature, like twins, Chun-Li, etc. Um... When you start thinking about medium kick Surugi, though, depending on distance, this will hit crouching opponents and potentially lead to a combo. And then you have neutral jump Surugi, which hits in both scenarios. So it depends on if your opponent is neutral jumping or if they are forward jumping as to how you can potentially deal with them as far as crouch goes. Regardless of the type of Surugi she's doing, whether it's EX, normal, no, forward jump, neutral jump, etc., they all cause proximity guard when you are put in the situation where Surugi's animation is starting. And this is where you are able to react. So if you are a reactionary player and Makoto is using Surugi a lot, you can use your own character's animation of going into block in order to parry after that, because the animation has to start in order to put you in this proximity guard, which will then allow you to parry the Surugi. So in this case, I am going into proximity guard when she's at the height, right? And this will allow me to immediately parry forward and deal with it. In this case, she's about midway through her jump. Proximity guard, parry. Same thing. See? Oops. It's the same thing. As long as you see the character go into proximity guard, you can do your parry. But it's a little bit harder for EX Surugi because depending on the height at which she's doing it when she's doing Tiger Knee, it might need to basically be immediate back forward. Whereas if I take a step back here, it's a little bit easier to do because of how the hurt box is interacting. So it will vary depending on the character that you're playing, at least in regards to the EX Surugi. The last way to deal with this is the same way that you would deal with any other jump, as an option select. Right? And what I mean by this is that you are essentially staying crouched and then parrying at the last possible second when it could be a safe jump timing um, and going from there. You can do the same thing where you stand block and you can react to the Surugi here if you want to. But if they were to do jump medium kick instead, it's a little bit harder. But you're able to get the same thing as well. And this is something that works basically for every character. It might be a little bit harder for the taller characters like Yurian and Q, and it's definitely a lot worse for Hugo. So just be careful depending on the character that you play.